we're typically talking about affordable helmets and something, you know, the everyday rider is using. Today, we're talking about top of the line. Got this one coming in for a uh, JDS Racing Rider. That is top of the line right there. 60 helmet, this is the mar uh, macro. This is a beautiful helmet. This is also almost a $700 helmet. So obviously if you're racing, if you, uh, if you care about what's inside here, that's the helmet right there. Okay, there's no question. 60 helmet is an amazing helmet if I mean it's an amazing helmet period end of story right there it's obviously not for everyone so we like to carry something super top of the line and then, then you know your $60 helmets that are decent for bobbing around the yard I don't know if the kid likes dirt bikes or not or ATVs or whatever I'll just get him a helmet but if you're serious right there 60 man 6d so let me know if you need 60 helmet uh, we've been selling them for uh, a little over a year awesome helmet awesome helmet if you got any questions about 60 you hit me up and let me know for those of you that do not know here is the technology behind the 60 helmet so inside this is your outer shell so inside the outer shell you have little shock absorber pads and uh, they're all, all around here, right? And then you've got the inner shell, the padding, then your head. Uh, so the idea here is when you crash, fall off your bike, ATV, whatever it is, your head hits the ground. It never hits it directly at a 90 degree angle, straight down or sideways or whatever. It's not a 90 degree angle. It'll hit and roll, just the shape of your round helmet hitting the ground, which is probably not flat. There's uh, some movement there. That's where you get a lot of your spinal injuries, uh, your brain, obviously, you hit the ground, it's still moving, it can rotate in your skull. Sounds absolutely terrible, that's what happens. So the idea is these, uh, this layer of shock absorbers in here uh, take that rotating impact and absorb it. So the outside of this shell will hit, move just the way that it would. Uh, the shock absorbers will take the brunt of that twisting motion and uh, the rest of the helmet from there in all the way into your brain will, uh, will move less than if you didn't have that technology behind it. There's other helmets out there that have similar uh, technology of fly racing has got MIPS. There's a couple other that have uh, that type of layer to it. Uh, but 6D is definitely the uh, the first one out there that had it. They've got a lot of research behind it. That's what makes the 6D helmet worth every penny of that almost $700. Okay, I think I blew this thing up enough on social. I need to get it to JDS Racing so he can fly it to the other side of the world for one of his racers. In the meantime, I should have white gloves on. That's, that's what this kind of helmet is. This, that's, that's what this experience is. This does not, to be, does not need to be waved around the shop. This is like, when one of these helmets comes through, it's like, uh, you know, the Stanley Cup or the... I don't know, the World Series trophy. Trophy, trophy, trophy coming to town. Take your pictures with it. But ultimately, you know, it's gotta go.